Over 10 years ago when I started a YouTube channel, I bought one of these. This is the Fabricator Mini. It was only $179, which was unheard of that cheap back then for a 3D printer. And it only had an 80 by 80 by 80 build area, but it was fully assembled. Didn't even include the LCD. I added that later, but I loved it. This was my first mini printer, and I still bring it out to Midwest Rep Rep Festival every year. Well now, 10 years later, we have this for $179. It's on sale. The A1 Mini is now on sale for $179, and you can get the optional multicolor unit for a total of $329 for this. And the features are incredible. So I wanted to show you how to do a multicolor chep cube, take you through the whole steps right here at Filament Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Now I've had a lot of mini printers on the channel over the years, including the Ender 2 Pro that I compared to the King Rune K3PS. Both were about $179 when I did that video. This one eventually dropped to like $125 and then they discontinued it. I also compared this to the Prusa Mini, which is still one of my favorite printers, but it's far more expensive than $179. So this machine for $179 just pretty much blows them all away and the features that it has is even better than most of the bigger more expensive printers that I own. Now with my extra fast profiles that I still offer for all the Ender type machines I could print a chep cube in like 17 minutes slicing it in Cura but I still don't get as good a quality with that as I do with this and this thing can print that same chep cube in like 18 minutes with incredible quality. Now build area is bigger on this than the Ender 2 Pro. As you can see from the bed material right here, you get this extra space, which seems like a little, but it's actually a lot. In fact, the 180 by 180 by 180 size was copied from the Prusa Mini. And I've printed a lot of things in that size. I mean, most of the things I print can fit within a 180 by 180 by 180 build area. Now you can get an A1, which is the big brother to this with a much bigger build area, but you're gonna spend more. In fact, it's $339 on sale just for the A1 printer, and it's $329 for this whole combo. So $10 less for this whole combo. So that's why I think this is a great place to start, and I bet most of what you're going to print is going to fit on this printer. Now, if you do end up with a large print that you need to print or something that you need really good quality, I suggest PCBWay.com. Not only do they make circuit boards, which I use all the time, but they offer 3D printing services. Just click on 3D printing, and there you can just upload your .stl file the same way you would into your slicer. But here you can print it in resin, you can print it in FDM, you can print it in any material you want. You can even print it clear. There's all kinds of options. Choose your options, and then they will give you a quote, and you can choose one or print many, and then they'll include shipping. It's a great service, especially if you come up with something that you want to sell and you want really good quality. I highly recommend PCBWay.com. I use them all the time for my circuit boards, but they do more than that. So check out PCBWay.com. So now let's talk about multicolor printing using the AMS on the A1 Mini. So I'm going to print a chep cube again. And like I said, it was only 18 minutes to do in one color. But for multicolor, first, you make sure you got the right device. Mine is labeled A1 with the AMS. So I'm going to click on that under the device menu. And then it will show on there what the colors are that are on the AMS unit. If you're using actual bamboo lab spooled filament, it has a chip in it. It'll automatically tell the AMS what it is. And then you can come up here to this little symbol and click on it, and it will sync the slicer to your printer and automatically change to the correct colors like we have here. Now we're ready to designate what needs to be what color, and you do that with the paint tool. It's a tin can with the dripping paint, and it brings up the four colors and different tool types. So the first thing you do is pick your tool type and then the color. In this case, we chose the circle and blue. Wherever we did that, it's going to change the filament and print blue. You can pick a different tool type, like the sphere, and then the color, and it'll do the same thing. This one's interesting, as most 3D prints are made up of triangles. So now it's only going to let you change the color of the tri triangle. So this can be interesting, depending on the print. There's also a height modifier on this one you want to play with the height range to get it to work best and now you can just choose which sections you want to be what color my favorite then is the fill tool and this you can just pick certain spot and it'll fill in the color so in this case it filled in the c with blue let's go back and change that to white now it's going to print it in white and i'm going to do that for the c the h the e and the p now let's go up to the z 
but the Z, I want that to be orange. So click on it and it fills the whole thing. So this is very handy. The X, let's do that in, let's do that in blue. Click on that. And now the X is blue. Let's spin this around and make the Y blue. And there we have it, a multicolor chip cube. Now you notice in the back, there's also a block with multicolors. This is the purge block. Every time it changes color, it's got to clean out the nozzle and bring in the new color. And it does that with this extra block in the back. Now, if you want to change a color, I want to change Y to white. So I bring up the tool again, click on the white, click on the Y, and now that's white. So now we're ready to slice this and send it to the printer. I'll click on slice plate and it'll slice the model and then it'll tell us how much material is being used for each color. So you know how much you need, how much is left on the spool. This thing's small, but it's not a big deal. But now it's gonna take four hours and 11 minutes. Remember, it took 18 minutes to print it in one color, four hours. That's because of all the material changes it's gotta go through. And now we just click on print plate in order to send it to the printer. And you get this screen where you can verify different things, including the settings. Do you want bed leveling, flow calibration? When you're ready, you just click on send, which is at the bottom of my screen here. It'll scroll across, send the file, and then it's going to start printing. It'll jump to the device screen where you can actually watch it and see the status. Or if you have the phone app, you can watch it on your phone as well. That way you can monitor what's going on. And on your phone, it'll give you a message the print is done so you can go check it out. Here it is printing only about a third up the CHEP cube, and it's printing white right now, the white sections. But once it's done with that, then the head will move to the right, and that little finger sticking out will press on the lever, and that actually cuts the filament. Then the head will move to the left and purge any white filament that's in the nozzle by pushing red into it, because that's the next color. Once it's done enough of that, it'll push it out. That's known as the poop, so it goes into the box that I put there. Then it goes into the purge block and makes sure it gets rid of any white residue so it's pure red when it goes back to the print. Now it's gonna print red. Now here it is in time lapse and you can see a lot of the time is spent clearing out the filament because this is a real small print. So that's really where the time is. And here it is in the middle where it's printed some red, some white, some blue. And then here's the finished block. Look at the purge block. It's huge, a bunch of poop. So it took a lot of plastic to print this little chep cube, but the result, an excellent multicolor chep cube. I have no affiliate link and no association with Micro Center. In fact, I don't care if you buy this or not, but this is one heck of a printer for $179. I cannot recommend it enough. And if you can afford the multicolor unit, well, I just showed you how easy it is to do multicolor printing with this thing. So I hope this helps you out. And if you want to help me out, Join my Patreon supporters in supporting this channel. They make this possible. I could not do this channel without their support. Thank you guys so much. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at things.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hollowbuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.